Hello everyone, Neil from Merchant Former here. I just got done talking to some friends over Skype who are a little confused about how we use the new keyword tool to come up with a lot of different niches very fairly quickly. So I just wanted to go over that today. I have nothing pre-planned or saved, so this is just going to be me logging in and doing a little bit of research. So let's get to it. First I want to log in here. Head over to the keyword finder. Now I know I've mentioned this in a few of our other videos, but the one thing that you need to make sure when using the keyword finder is that when you enter in a seed keyword, it cannot be a complete keyword. It needs to be something with a bunch of different endings because it's based on Amazon auto suggest. So let's just come over here. Uh, we want to use an example such as like, I love, or I love my, that sounds good to me. Uh, as always, Cafe Press is checked just to bring back more results. It'll give us some keywords that may or may not be popular in Amazon at the moment. Hit search. This is generally fairly quick. And as you can see, I just typed in I love, comes back with 172 results. So we're scrolling down here. We're really just looking for not a particular saying, but different niches. So I'm coming in here. I love art, so let's get a let's get a word pad going here. We can just start typing some of these in. Art, ants, bacon, baseball, beer. See all I'm doing is going down, I'm looking at the different niches that I see. We have books. Let's continue here. Books, buttons, carbs, carrots, cats. Once we have a good list going, some people might want, for example, I love books. Some people might want to come over here. Uh, this is an update we just pushed. It'll show you, you know, the competition, how much is you can expect to be selling if you are ranked in for this keyword, as well as some related keyword to trademark check. And this will show you the interest over time. So basically, I was looking at this keyword alone. I would see that it is pretty competitive on Amazon, but it's not a it's not a niche that is seasonal at all. But the main thing I want to take away from this is that books seems to be a niche, as well as all these other ones we wrote down. So once you have a bunch of different niches saved up. You can also go ahead and save these keywords to your favorites if you want. But then again, the technique I'm using is fi finding niches and we're going to dig deeper into those instead of using these particular phrases. So once you have a list of niches, you want to come over here to product search. We'll use carbs as an example. Just enter that in there. Hit search. And this comes back with the top 100 selling shirts for uh, that include the keyword carbs. And it's going to be ranked by BSR. So what we're really looking for is we'll come down here. See the best selling shirt has a BSR of about 153k. So we look at this snapshot here, and this is going to be the estimated monthly sales if the BSR were not to change. So this is basically just a snapshot in time. We want to take a deeper look into the niche and make sure that this is worth it. Now, if the shirt is continuously selling, this is going to be more and more accurate. If it might have sold once and then never sells again, uh, this is going to quickly drop off. So sometimes you would want to put these in your favorites and come back and check them a day to maybe a week down the line. Make sure that they are still selling before you go into that niche. It just depends on how you like to do your research. So now that we're coming down, uh, I like to usually look at niches in the 100,000 to three, 400,000 range. That to me says that if I were to make a better design, put that better design up on Amazon and get sales for it, I would get a sale or two every week, which is basically, I would like to have one sale a day. That's not always going to happen, but I kind of aim for one to two sales a week. And then I play the numbers game. So I have a thousand shirts doing one to 2000, uh, excuse me, one to two sales a week. 
that adds up very, very quickly. So as I'm coming down this list, I see that a lot of these shirts are directly in the BSR range that I'm looking for. Uh, this shirt right here actually looks familiar. I think someone from the Facebook group designed that. So kudos on him. Looks like he's selling. But what I'm actually looking for is, remember I searched for the keyword carbs, right? You're not going to name your shirt carbs. You want to look at what's selling and then actually dive into their features and their description and their price and the title and the brand. But basically, we're, we're mainly looking at the features to see what other keywords that these top sellers have top sellers are using like for example this shirt is a keto shirt which is a uh, it's a low carb dieters okay, that's a keyword uh, keto fueled eaters keto definitely seems to be a keyword low carb high fat so basically a bunch of diets so what we could do is take say low carb so we we, we started with carb and now we're going to take low carb, enter it right back up in here. And now we're going to search. This is basically going to, get, going to be niching down. And we're going to see what is selling in this sub niche and see if we can maybe niche down further or if this might be a niche that we do want to create a design on. So you can see there's over 100 shirts. This gives us the average price, highest price, lowest price. Uh, we are searching in the Merch by Amazon shirts just because that's usually easiest. That's usually what I do when I'm going through here. Uh, this is the top selling shirt still. They're coming down. These all look to be pretty simplistic designs, so easily outsourced. If that's uh, up your alley or if you are a graphic designer, you should pretty easily be able to come up with something better than that. So... We want to come in here and we want to look through the features again. See if we can see any uh, other keywords. We're, we're looking at low carb right now. Low carb dieters is coming up again, or low carb diet, perhaps. We'll copy that. Ketosis, keto, pa paleo included in, in uh, with the other ketogenic keywords. So let's do one final search up here. The low carb diet. All right, now, as you can see, the top sellers here are still in the range we're looking at. They are doing a few sales a month, one to two sales a week. For the top sellers here, as you can see, they are very easy. So, what I would do if I was going to create a shirt in this niche, which I actually do have a few shirts in different diet niches that do very well. Uh, as you can see, they are priced so they are priced higher than I generally price them myself. But I know a lot of people like this pricing strategy. You're going to make over seven dollars a shirt. Super simple design. You'd want to go through and you'd want to take note of all the keywords they're using. Write those down in a file, or simply save these to your favorites. We're not going to do that right now. And then get your design created. It's as simple as that. You'll upload. When you're uploading the actual design, I would come back. I would look at the results data here. This is going to give you a good idea of what you should price at. I generally like to price lower as I'm starting out. That gets a little more reviews, gets the listing kickstarted a bit. And then I simply repeat that process a few hundred times. If you have the slots, you can upload them to Amazon Merch. If you don't have the slots, you can use the Shopify integration or you can use the Teespring integration. And all I did was I went to the Keyword Finder. I listed a bunch of niches simply from coming over here, entering an I love and just going down the list. As you notice, I didn't, I, there was a, I believe we used the keyword, I love carbs, but as you noticed, we did not actually search for that specific keyword because the technique we were using was to use the keyword tool to find other niches to actually go and do more research into and find another niche, which took us under five minutes. We found a simple 
design with a bunch of keywords that we could use. And it's very easy to replicate this process over and over again until you're making sales. So until next time, make sure to like the video and subscribe. And I will catch you on the other side.